Look, you should flee the country. The government is about to collapse. The king is now sacrificing innocent civilians to the dragon in the sewers. Even noblemen and political dissidents are being fed to that thing. Filthy piss! I can't get my research done with all these puka and goblins! These back streets seem more dangerous with all these suspicious looking sorcerers. Hey, you're... You can use my magic to head back to the Puka village, okay? I can't work in this scary town any longer. I'm closing up my shop, so I'll give you a discount. It's been a while. I see you've come back safely from Horn Mountain. I ran out of medicine. It was a nightmare. By the way, I saw a man who looked like the king in an alley up ahead. It was probably just my imagination. and Urza. Please forgive me, Urza. I have done as you asked. Repent for the sacrificed. You were too stubborn to hand over the Book of Transformation. I had no choice but to call my dragon servant. Please return the book. I can't let it happen again. King Galen's suffering was nothing compared to this! Stop. Please. The blood won't go away. Blood from my poor father. Then be relieved. Your pain will soon end. I shall call King Galen back to this land 
from the netherworld. And then what? You will make him king? As the prophecies state, he will be the great force that causes the world's end. He shall call himself the Beast of Armageddon, and he will rule the world. And with the Ring of Titrell as well, our wishes will come true. Urza, so you were behind this. Well, well, Prince Cornelius. I was surprised to see you returned from the netherworld, but to see you survive an encounter with the great Wagner is truly surprising. You started all this. Now, if only King Galen is as fortunate as his grandson. The time is near for the return of our lord and master, King Galen. Now I finally understand. I see why King Galen gave me this sword. When I met him, I know he asked me, please let me rest. Galen does not wish to repeat his past atrocities. Fate brought me to him to crush your evil schemes. Nonsense! The king awaits his subjects. No one can stop us. Cornelius, so it is you. Forgive me, I was deceived. We have no time to waste. The Princess of Valentine came looking for you and was captured by the dragon. The dragon is in the sewers. Velvet!
probieren.
fortune teller. I see suffering and agony in your future. Welcome. I'll be honest with you. My shop has better wares than those on the main streets. else you want to order? As you wish. Is there anything else you want? As you wish. Is there anything else you want to order?
Prince, I'm amazed. You've continued to elude all the traps that I've set for you. But this is the end. This is out of your league, Puka. Your pitiful Cornelius. Ingwei, you're still alive. You thought you could kill me for interfering with your plans. But too bad, sorcerer. I will have you keep your promise. Now hand over my share, and give me the mystic power of the Titanian royal family. You stupid little frog! You don't deserve the power! Stay back unless you wish to become like him! Do not forget that I possess the Ring of Titrell. <laughs> Take a closer look. Where could the real one be? What? You filthy scoundrel! You will regret this! Ingwe, please listen to me. Velvet, she... She was given to the dragon. So there you have it. She's your twin, isn't she? My loyal servant, Belial the dragon, lies ahead with an offering placed before him. You scheming devil! I cannot speak for others, but if you defy me, I may simply kill the girl right here. If you give me the ring, I will let you go. I see. Huh? Cornelius, I have healed you. Go, rescue Velvet. Heading for the dragon? Don't go anywhere, Urza. I will be your opponent. So, I see you refuse to give me the ring. I'm just in time. Stand back! 
dragon, do not touch her! Stay away, puny one. Those who approach will meet my fangs. Urzer has commanded me. Why is a noble dragon serving that foul sorcerer? He controls my heart with magic. I cannot disobey him. If you have the power, then save my tormented soul. I cannot bear it anymore. Hiding in this stinking sewer and attacking innocent humans. If you feel any pity for me, kill me now. Too successful. This cannot be good. Please, you can't be dead. Wake up, Belial. You don't have time to die. What's wrong? Obey me. 
Your words mean nothing. My heart has been pierced, and your spell broken. You impudent beast! Indeed. I have been freed just before I die. Sorcerer, your time is up. Our contract has ended. Wait! My death is near. Let us go together! Father! The sorcerer has gone to join his dragon in the netherworld. Titania has been saved. Cornelius. I have no right to be king. I will relinquish my crown and name you the king. The citizens won't allow it. They wouldn't serve a puka. This is not the time to be weak, father. You must take responsibility for your actions and the chaos you have caused. You never deserved to be king before. But you must live up to your heritage. Extend your heart to the people, and show them that you can be just and kind. This is your son's last wish. Please, be a good king. Cornelius, where are you going? To live with other Puka. I have to put aside my feelings for her. Princess Velvet, I should have told you. When we met in the forest, I will love you forever. Yes, it's me, Cornelius. My heart has not changed. That is all I have to tell you. My brother Ingwe. He transformed you into a puka. I will forgive him if you wish it. Prince Cornelius, let me stay with you. Don't confuse pity for love. I am no match for you now. It will tear my heart apart, but I will leave your side and let you find another. Tis not pity. You shall regret it. No! Prince Cornelius! Please, look. My arms. They are too small to even hold you. No! You've never held me so strongly. I no longer have a palace. I don't even have a home. If I can be with you, I have no need for shelter. No matter what you appear to be, you are still the same person, Cornelius. My love shall not change. The hopelessness and despair I felt have been replaced with joy and love. I have faith. In time, I will return to my human body. I have lost nothing. Princess Velvet, I swear, I will fill your life with love and happiness.